Well, good morning everybody. You join us. We're still in Canmore. We've had a slower morning, got up a bit later. We actually did some laundry in our bathtub in the hotel room. And now we've come back to the restaurant we came on the first day, that Chez Francois restaurant for breakfast. And then we're gonna head back into Banff National Park. We found another little trail that we wanna do today. So yes, come with us. But first up it's breakfast. And what do I get guys? Do I get the Eggs Benedict again, which was incredible? Or do I get pancakes? Decisions, decisions. It's a tricky one. And I think we're gonna sit outside today because I was right the other day. It was definitely warm enough to be outside. Here he is. Little outdoor spot. decisions to make. I had a bison burger in that other place and it was the best burger I have ever had. I think I'm still in the, in the mood for breakfast stuff though, are you? Yeah, I think so. I go for the pancakes again. I went for the same. I went for the eggs benedict. I was tempted by the strawberry and cream cheese crepe. Dean's gone for strawberry and Nutella crepe, not the pancakes this time, haven't you? Oh, banana and Nutella crepe. Um, I was tempted by that strawberry and cream cheese crepe. Sounds interesting. But also, I just know how good those those eggs benedict were the other day, and I just wanted them again. So yeah. that's what I went for. Sorry if you wanted to see me try something new. If you're wondering, by the way, what's happened to my nail, I did actually lose one. I did, well, I didn't lose one. They're not false. They've got like shellac on them. And I did them myself and one of them's peeled off. <laughs> so, is there a lesson to be learned there is to not do them yourself before a holiday where they need to actually last? I don't know. But yes, I'm just making it work, you know. Just Some people do their fourth one a bit different, don't they? <laughs> do you have enough crepes there, Dean? Do it one more, I think. <laughs> and here's my eggs Benedict. Mm -mm -mm. I'm ready for this. So I asked the guy in ice that you could just do me like a single little pancake so I can put syrup on it because I am still craving a pancake with maple syrup. I haven't had one yet. So I couldn't have eaten the whole portion, so I've just got one little pancake. And I'm gonna put some syrup on and enjoy. Well, we have arrived at our little destination for the day. Is it a destination? Where we're going to be exploring today. And it is Johnston Canyon. Now there is a couple of different walks that you can do here. But we believe that one of them is closed for maintenance or for a wildlife corridor. One of the two. So I'm just going to nip to the washroom. It just look like there's proper washrooms here, which is good. And so I'm going to get walking. we came that all after here is all closed it is for maintenance not for a wildlife corridor um, but we're here so we can still walk down to these lower falls and have a little explore don't know how much we'll be missing from doing all this but we'll see we've never been here before so a new place for us I'm excited and thankfully they were proper washrooms. I have officially vetoed the not so proper washrooms that are provided at some of the lakes after that experience at Moraine where I was nearly being sick 
whilst having a wee. I'd fallen into one then. I don't think it's possible to fall into one, Dean, but the, now, the smell now. whilst I was trying to wee in that one in Moraine was... I've seen a video on Instagram this morning on how he clean and empty them. You, what, did you... How did you find that? It just, just popped up. Who um, films that and puts it, that on Instagram? It's a helicopter that does it. It lifts it off the ground and then puts an empty one back in. That doesn't sound correct. I'll show you, honestly. That's what I've seen. It was on the Lake Agnes story. No, not good. So this explains it a bit better. It looks like we are missing out actually, not being able to go to the upper falls. We can literally only get to here, which is only a 30 minute walk away. That's a shame. The sound of that water is so relaxing. shape of that tree trunk. It's like a proper S shape. Well, job done. I enjoyed that little, yeah, nice little, little meander. Something we haven't seen. Yeah, something we've not seen before and nothing too strenuous. It is a shame that we could only get to the lower falls. There was like a little cave at the end there, but there was quite a queue to get into it and get your picture and stuff. We waited for about 10 minutes, didn't we? And it didn't move. Yeah. So, we didn't waste any more than that. Now we're back at the car and we're going to try and decide what we want to do with the rest of our afternoon. Well, we've not been very good vloggers today, have we, Dean? No. We went for the walk at Johnston Canyon and then we drove back to Canmore with the plan of hunting down a swimsuit for me and then going to relax in the Banff Hot Springs or the Radium Hot Springs, but we just can't find anywhere here that sells swimming costumes. I'm so annoyed at myself for forgetting it. So that idea went out of the window. Then we went to try and find somewhere to fly my drone. You can't fly it inside Banff National Park, but Camel is just outside Banff National Park. So we can fly it around here to try and pick up some of the fall colors. But then the spot that we found to go and do that, the road was inaccessible, it had all roadworks on it. So then that plan went out the window. So now we've just come out for tea. 
We've had a much more chilled day today, which was needed. My legs are very achy after that uphill hike yesterday. I think I did nearly 600 meters of ascent yesterday. I'll put the stats from my Garmin watch on the screen so you can see. But I'm sure it was like near to 500 and something meters of climbing. So my calves and my glutes and my quads are feeling it today. And we're just a bit tired, aren't we? We haven't really felt like filming much. We did end up driving around Canmore and seeing lots of nice houses. And now we're sat in the, the restaurant that we've chosen to eat at. I'll show you what it's like in here. We're sat on the um, real estate websites, <laughs> seeing just how much it is to to have property in this place. I think we've had to pick up about six jobs each. Six jobs each, you think? It's found a really, really nice one. It's really suitable. It's got enough bedrooms so that everyone, all of the striders can come over and visit us. Um, it's four million. It's not so bad. We should go and find it and show it on the vlog. We've only found it on the website. We've not found it in person, but we should go and find it and show it. Maybe they've got an open house. <laughs> No, like we can just go and look around and pretend, pretend like we've got four million in the bank to buy it. <laughs> just, they're just really, I did get, a, I did get a little bit of footage of one of them. They're just really like, they're proper little mountain lodges. They're so cute. They look cute, like little and cute, but they, they cost the same as like mansion. <laughs> Brewing Company Lager. We've got a view of the three sisters out the window. That's a, really. such a nice beer. That what though. have you got on the way? A um, burger? Just a burger. Yeah. I'd move over here just for the beer. It's amazing. <laughs> Honestly. Dean wants to move for the beer. I want to move for the mountains and the photography. And also just the way of life around here. It just It's so chilled around Canmore. I don't know what it's like maybe in summer like peak tourist time. Do you know what I've not seen as well? Like a single police car or I don't know it's weird. We are in Banff. We've seen the police pulling people over in Banff. It does feel very safe though. It just I don't know it's like it's got small town vibes but just it's like a it's like a cozy look. No we haven't. The Canmore is bigger than you realise it. And it's just it's just a, like a cozy little town isn't it? Yeah. And it's not quite as it is going to be touristy, but maybe not as. I think most people stay in Banff. So. It's cheaper than Banff. Jeez, I'd, let's have a look at the properties in Banff. How much they cost? Go on, I dare you. <laughs> it's cheaper to stay as a tourist in Camel than it is in Banff. I wonder what it's like living here in the summer when all the tourists flock in and in winter when the skiers flock in. I used to live in quite a touristy town in Bangor in North Wales. That used to, in the summer, that used to be inundated with tourists. Dean's just googling how much a property is in Banff. Come on, a cheeky little three bed. This is more expensive, here. Canmore's more expensive? No. Get off it. On the last day. There's an eight, eight bedroom. Then. An eight? In Banff for uh, one room. And yet, how many bedrooms was that four million one? Three bedrooms. Three bedrooms for four million in Canmore. Eight bedrooms for one million in Banff. We're getting ourselves a bargain there. We'll get that one and then we've got three million to do what we want with it. <laughs> do you look at the state of it? Let me show it on the camera. Let me show it. <laughs> a million pounds. A million. A million. <laughs> I've got five bedrooms. Eight, five. How did you confuse five with eight it beds? Eight, it says eight before. A million 
pounds. For a shirt. Dean reckons that's cheap compared to Cal <laughs> for a shirt. <laughs> At least the four million one in Camel was stunning and made of stone. It's unfinished. <laughs> unfinished. I mean, it's got a big, a big living room. I still wouldn't pay a million pounds for it. So I got breaded chicken with Alfredo sauce. I'm assuming this is like garlic toast. Didn't know that came with it, but not gonna say no. And there's Dean's burger. Good morning everyone. This morning we are headed out for breakfast. We found somewhere new that we want to try and then I think we might be headed a little bit further west than we've gone so far already to Pato Lake and Hector Lake and maybe a little bit the Icefields Parkway. We're going to see. We did want to drive all of the Icefields Parkway up to Jasper. That won't be possible today because it's a bit too late in the day for that but maybe Maybe tomorrow we'll go all the way to Jasper, but we do definitely want to go to Pato Lake. So that might be on the cards for today. I am wearing one of my new jumpers today. It just says a bump fall on it. I do like a cozy jumper, although I probably won't need it once I get out there because it's been very mild <laughs> or actually bordering more on hot whilst we've been here. And we might go and try and fly the drone um, around Canmore. It's a no-go in the national parks. They're not allowed even though someone did fly one over Moraine Lake the other morning. It was kind of annoying because I really want to fly mine, but I want to abide by the rules and have respect for the nature that's there. And then when you see other people with a complete lack of that respect of the rules, it really infuriates me because I'd love to fly my drone over Moraine Lake and get some of those views from above. But yeah it just it just really annoyed me seeing them fly their drone there so anyway it's a no-go in the national parks but Canmore is not in a national park it has a few provincial parks around it and still gorgeous rocky mountains all around it so could be a good place to fly it around here we tried yesterday with no success because the place we tried to go to to fly it the road had roadworks so I've got a backup plan anyway, so that might be on the cards for this morning as well. So this morning we have come to a restaurant called Craig's Way Station. Craig's Way Station. Looks cute, little wooden building and does pancakes and eggs and all that good stuff for breakfast. So that's where we've come. Today's actually the first day, it's a Saturday of the Canadian Thanksgiving weekend. So we could be in for a busy weekend over here. I imagine it's kind of like in the UK, like when everyone flocks to Wales over a bank holiday and it gets really busy. Everyone wants to come to the mountains to get away from it. So we shall see just how busy it is in the Rocky Mountains over Canadian Thanksgiving. <laughs> Not a bad little breakfast spot, hey Dean, did you enjoy yours? Yeah, it was nice. I am probably, as you can tell, a big fan of Eggs Benedict. That one was nice. It was not quite as nice as the Chez Francois ones, but yeah, the view was a little bit better and the pancake was nicer than over there. So Swings and Roundabouts, still a nice restaurant, would recommend. Nice and cosy, family vibes, nice little atmosphere and stunning views out the window towards all the mountains. So next on our agenda is hopefully a little bit of drone flying. Let's go guys. I'm gonna go back to where we were with the view of the three sisters. Um, and it is coming up to midday. So the sun is gonna be at its peak. We're just gonna see what we can do. And if it comes out nice, then maybe I'll try and go back at like golden hour or something like that. 
But yeah, these are the views we've been enjoying over breakfast. Not bad at all. So there's another drone flying attempt that's gone bust because as we got here, the, we realized the helicopter tours that were not, they don't, I don't think they run past four or 5 p.m. So when we came for sunset, we didn't see any, but they were flying literally just over this spot. Now, I don't think I'd be putting my drone as high as that. Although they were flying pretty low. And you need to be a certain distance away from heli, heli, um, heliports. I think we are the correct distance away from them for it to still be classed as safe, but I just don't want to take any chances. Like I don't, <laughs> I still don't really trust myself with the drone as it is. I don't want to be flying them amongst helicopters because that's not just risking a drone, that's risking people's lives on that helicopter. If, it was just crash into the window of the helicopter or something. So it's just not worth the risk. It's pretty around here though. We will come back. We, d we inquired about the helicopters, but they're just too expensive. So I know that she said the last tour goes at about half four, something like that. So. This one's actually partially accessible for wheelchairs. Now, last time we were here, we actually couldn't explore very easily because it was an absolute winter wonderland and we had no crampons with us. So we were slipping and sliding literally everywhere. But today, there's definitely no snow. Mm. imagine what this path looked like when all these pine trees were covered in snow but it was extremely slippy
mouth. So there's his two ears and its nose is facing this way to the right. Since we were last here, all this boardwalk has all been extended. It was much, much, much smaller when we were last here. This has all been extended outwards. So we've hiked up one of the paths that we simply could not access last time we were here it's just too icy and we kind of got away from the noisy children and the crowd of tourists there's no one in front of the view just look at that and you can see the wolf a little bit better so ears and nose Just wow, it's incredible. You can see this is the glacier that runs into the lake, so that's where it gets its turquoise colour from. Is that glacier okay? So, I'm gonna go through this quickly because Dean is waiting for me. He didn't want to come to like the, the heights up here, just look at that. So, I just want to talk you through the composition here that I've gone for. Let me brighten this up. This isn't how I'm going to expose it for the actual image, but I like the way this rock here mirrors the mountain behind it. I like the fact that these kind of provide a frame for the wolf's head of the lake. And I like the fact that these rocks down at the bottom, if I can focus on them, yeah, these rocks down at the bottom sort of point your eye to where I want you to look in the photo, which is at the lake. I've sort of, it's a bit wide, it will get cropped in, but that gives me room to play with really. But that's the composition I went for. Shots. I'm now going to wander back and try and find Dean before it gets too dark. I don't really want to walk through these woods on my own in the dark. Just look at it though as the sun starts to set. pine trees smell absolutely incredible if I'm not getting the best footage it's because I'm watching where I'm putting my feet not where the camera is because um, I really really don't want to trip but yeah the pine trees smell insane When 
seen birds. I think because I've never seen one in Canada, I didn't see one last year, I haven't seen one so far this trip. It almost feels like unbelievable that people will ever do see them. But when you're walking amongst this, maybe not with the fence there, but when you're walking in amongst all that, that's when you think, oh yeah, I am glad I've got bear spray. I would love to see bears as long as they kept their distance and they were sort of wary of me, not aggressive towards me. But I remember vividly, speaking of this fence, this was where we got to last time and we were just slipping and sliding straight down this slope on the ice it was like an actual ice rink and I remember Dean trying to use this to like pull himself up there and we just thought you know what now nah, it's, it's just not happening here he is jelly legs down where you took the wrong path How did you manage that? I don't know. It was basically straight. I know, but I, I, there was like a turn. I went left or right, and I went left instead of going. Did you at least vlog it? No, I was just <laughs> panicking. Well, we just had fun recreating the photo that I got there in 2018. It's a vlog picture <laughs> Yeah, to get the, the position and the lake and everything right. It took a while to get it right. So that's why I've got my sunglasses on because I've got sunglasses on in that picture. It's been my Instagram profile picture for about four years. So yeah, we thought we'd recreate it. Take a more up-to-date one. And now we're walking back to the car. It felt, yes, it really felt like we were walking through a Christmas card, didn't it? Walking through here. I'm surprised we managed to make it up this hill. This is the steepest one. And I'm, I'm shocked it wasn't like an ice rink. But all the trees had like three inches of snow on all the branches, didn't it? We just wish we'd had crampons so that we could have not been ice skating at the same time. <laughs> and we came more prepared this time. Packed crampons each, didn't we? I bought some crampons on, especially for- well, well, you already had a pair, but you've misplaced them because we took a pair to Iceland. I packed mine. Dean bought a pair specifically. Spe specifically? Spe specifically. He bought a pair specifically. And we've not seen a single snowflake. I actually bought like waterproof trousers uh, with fleece lined waterproof trousers for being out taking photos, stood still, getting cold in the snow. It's all taken up a lot of weight in the suitcase and we've not used it. You can definitely tell that I am not used to driving such a big car. <laughs> Why am I just completely not in the space, Dean? I, <laughs> I was, I, I swear to God, I was like inches from hitting that. That's what it felt like in that big car. Honestly, that is shocking. Andrew would be ashamed of me if he saw that. Oh my God. Don't park your rental cars from Sanasti like this, guys, okay? Please get them in the spaces so that no one takes your rear end off. I can't believe we didn't notice. Okay, this is the glamour of a trip like this. So, pulled back into that little mini mart at Lake Louise and got ourselves a sandwich, got some crisps and drinks and things. Seeing as we're passing this way anyway, we have decided that we're gonna have something to eat in the car and then we're gonna drive past, see if Moraine Lake Road is open. And if it is, we're gonna go up and I'm gonna try and get some pictures of the stars over those 10 peaks. So that's the plan. And if it's shut, then it's shut. But we will see. Hopefully this time of night, there'll be a space up there for us. Well, the car park at Lake Marine 
is open. So that's where we are. It's very dark as you can see. Just looking for the path up to the rock pile. Now, the problem is, it is almost a full moon, which is one surefire way to make the stars look not as good. So, if I get any pictures of the stars, I will insert them. If not, then at least we can say we tried. This is me with my head torch on. Well guys, I am ending this vlog sort of post shower <laughs> back in the hotel room. We did try and do some astrophotography down at Moraine Lake and the full moon basically just made the pictures look like it was daylight. I'll insert one of them just so you can see what I mean, but the full moon was just illuminating everything, everything too much and the stars were just far too faint for it to be worth it. So we only stayed about 10 minutes and then we drove home. So I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and tune into the next one to see where the day takes us tomorrow. Good night, guys.